Alrighty guys, I'm KC and welcome back to House Flipper and I'm starting on the loading screen because I'm having a very interesting bug with this game. When I was in the world and I would hit record, whether it be through my hotkey or whether it be through actually, you know, pressing escape, going across to my recording program and manually hitting it, I would be locked in a state where I would be unable to move. So I thought, I'm going to try recording on the load up. I've restarted both programs and I still have the same issue. So I have no idea what it is. A bit of a strange one, that. But you know. Okay. I can't move again. It's just like, sort of like locking me into a state where I cannot move. Despite what I do. So it looks like we're working on the office today because, well, in all fairness, it's the only place that I can move. I go to the house after the flood and I'm unable to move. Okay, moving, open the door and frozen. Cannot move. Like, settings, um, control, nope, effects, full, um, general, uh, Like, I can bring up my tablet, I can do everything, like build, but I can not physically move. Okay, let's just try... Nope, E. General. There we go. You've selected a new office. Um, but I, I, I literally cannot do anything here. Strange. That is really strange that that's happening. It works perfectly fine when I'm not recording. Or at least I think it does. But yet here we have absolutely no problems whatsoever. So I think we're going to have to go to House After the Flood. Go back to the house, see if it works. Okay, okay. And we're unable to move again. So I have no idea what is causing that bug. That is really, really a strange one. I mean, I guess we're going to have to sell the house as as is. Um, I mean, we have 21 grand, which isn't even enough to buy another house to start doing up. You know? And, uh... House price, renovation costs, sold furniture. Because there is that error where it won't let us put a, a wall or a door in as well. And I don't really know how to sell them. Maybe we should just do some jobs, try and buy a new house. So let's go and clean up his house. A few days ago I bought a house at an extremely bargain price. The price wasn't was influenced by two factors. For many months, no one wanted to buy the house and also a certain unwanted guest lived there. I'm talking about, about a man who, unnoticed, moved in and stayed there for a few days before he was found by the police. This guy made quite a mess during his short stay. Trash, crates, newspapers are lying all over the floor and an unidentified substance covers most of the floors and it seems that someone threw up on the fridge. Okay, so we just got to basically go and clean this house up. Let's see if we can actually do this job. 
or if we are going to have the same issue that we've been having previously, where I'm unable to move. Okay, nope, doesn't seem like we've got that issue. For now, anyway. Oh my god, look at the termites. This place is absolutely ditched. Um, can I... Maybe a fuse is blown. Okay. If I was a fuse box, I'd be in the kitchen. Or maybe not. Does it say like in here? Clean dirt, remove trash. Yeah, it does. It says the tasks are maybe. Aha! Basement. If I was a fuse switch, I would be down here. Okay. Oh. Does that do it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's start by cleaning up the basement, I think. Would probably be the smart decision. As soon as we're, like, already down here. There's a... Ruggedy old plug. So yeah, if someone knows why that issue is happening. You know, game breaking bug. I think that's what I'll call this episode, game breaking bug. Because it kind of does break the game that I'm unable to move. In my house. I mean, I could do everything else, but I just physically cannot move. It's a bit of a strange one. Okay, let's get the vacuum cleaner. And let's just clean up all of these oh, nasty cockroaches. Give it to them. Nobody likes to have cockroaches in their house. Nobody. Okay. I'll have a little Google search to see if anybody else is suffering from that. Okay, so we've destroyed one of two cockroach nests. Not quite sure where the other one is. I mean, I'm assuming it's like down here in the basement. Ah, we destroyed them. Okay. And let's clean up down here. I mean, who would leave their house in this state here? New cleaning skill is available. Okay. Let's go with faster cleaning. Clean that. Clean that. Or is it like up here? Aha! It's on the wall. You can clearly see it on the wall. Gross and disgusting. Because mold. And we're going to get a grand so far for our work. You know, friends, my friend, but I would like more than a grand for my work. Can we clean this up? Nope. Clean that up. No idea what the hell that was. Like some sort of vomit or something. Nasty. Okay, let's get the ceiling all nice and cleaned. I wish I could have just one thing that cleaned my entire house like this. You know. Like just one thing. Rather than having to have a separate rag for the telly. You know, you got one for your dishes. You got one for your units. Okay. And over here. Sometimes it's kind of difficult. Oh, there's the day you can kind of see it at the back. Okay, well, it says 96% dirt cleaned. And there's like no dirt left in here. So, like, where's the other like 4% dirt? I don't see any on like the ceiling or anything. 
Maybe it's like up here at the door. Yeah, like here. Okay, so that's that dirt cleaned. Okay. Was that dirty? I mean, we should genuinely be able to see where the dirt is. There's no window in here. I'm trying to look to see if there's like any dirt that we've missed. I mean, I don't even see a, like a plug or anything. And genuinely, there's like nothing. Is that a little bit up there? Okay, you know what? It's good. Light switch. Nope. Okay, I have no idea what's going on down there. Okay, let's get rid of all of this stuff. we got to clean the dirt, remove the trash, clean the window. There's two windows in here. Oh, my God. Uh, light. Turn the light on. Let's close the door. Just clean the bed with a broom because that's what we all do. I mean, this place is absolutely disgusting. This place is worse than the uh, than the students we did a couple of episodes ago. I'm a little bit annoyed at that, at that game breaking book, though, if I'm being honest. It's like I was super looking forward to doing that house up, and this is the first video I'm recording. It's very rare that this is the first video I record. I usually record a Minecraft video. Okay, let's clean the windows. And this is going to be a bit difficult. Because, yeah, we're being dark outside. It's going to be a little bit difficult to quite see where we've been on these windows. I mean, we can see a little bit. But I'll tell you something, I've got one hell of a busy month. One hell of a busy June idea I have. I'm trying to maintain five videos a day, three on this channel, three on my second channel. So if you want to check out my second channel where I, we play other games, you know, AAA games, that kind of stuff. Games that don't really fit the theme of the main channel. And feel free to go over there, link in the description. But yeah, so I'm trying to maintain five videos a day. I'm trying to do everything else that I need to do in a day, you know, spend time with the wife, bring up the money, that kind of stuff. And then there's decorating. We're, we're, we're decorating the house, so there's that. We've recently started having family film night to try and spend more time together. So there goes another hour, hour and a half of my evening. You know, there's just not enough hours in the day for me to do all the things that I want to do. I'm about halfway through a book that I've started writing at the beginning of last month. And I haven't even found the time to finish that. I shouldn't say I'm halfway through it. I'm, I'm about a third of the way through it, I want to say. I feel like I've progressed about a third of the way through the story of where I want to be. And so, like, a big it's like twist in the middle. Of, not in the middle of the story. About a third of the way through the story. Okay, so where's this last bit? Okay, cool. cool. And it looks like we got some dirt over here. Possibly up here. Did I not clean the windowsill? Okay. I mean, this is clean. In my opinion, this room is clean apart from this little bit here. I 
Okay. Let's turn on... Does this lead outside? Yes. Okay, this is clearly going to be the worst of the rooms. So you lead outside, so we don't really need to go out there. You lead outside, don't really need to go out there. You lead downstairs, we do need to go in there. And you lead into the bathroom. Okay, let's do the bathroom. Thankfully, thankfully, there's no window in here. It's a horrible shower. Which it looks like we need to fix. Because it's red. I mean, we can do that. It's not that big of a deal. There's that. Get back there with scrub. Get that vomit off the door. Okay, so we need to remove the trash. But the thing is, I don't actually see any trash in this room. Okay, maybe it was just, maybe it was just that. And the shower, the longest thing to put together. And this thing takes an age. Let's pop that there, pop that down, screw that in, pop that on. Do that. Do one of those. Screw. Okay, fair enough. You want me to screw that one in from a different angle. That. I mean, this literally does take an age to put this in. Shower is probably my least favorite thing to do now. I'm beginning to like the windows more than I am the shower. My daughter keeps begging me to play this game. So I think when I'm finished with it, I'll let her play it. Okay. And that. Put those in. Bring that down. I mean, simples, really. Just simples. Okay, so this room is actually done. It's the only room we've got done so far. Okay, so we need to clean the dirt. So let's destroy the cockroach nest. I think that's probably... No, I thought it... Oh, it's not a vacuum, is it? It just looks like a vacuum. Okay. So let's move up all of the cockroaches. Could you imagine having cockroaches in your house? That'd be a bob. I mean, I, I ate it in the summer where you get them ants that come in, you know? And I don't care who you are. Everyone gets that. You, you'll get one day, just one random day in the summer, where there's just ants all over your kitchen worktop. So coming in from the outside, they find a little bit of food, and they just want to eat it. You know? And we get that about once a year, for once a year, we'll get a couple of ants coming in from the outside and, you know, easy, easy to deal with ants. Very easy. So that's one cockroach nest. Uh, my guess is um, we actually need to move this. Okay. I move the I move the virgin instantly. Problem solved. Okay. Get rid of that. And the only thing I think of with downstairs is this is like bleeding through. So up here? Maybe it's a light. Okay. I mean, I don't want to do the Arthur job. We can finish the order now, but it's not finished. I would like it to be finished. Clean up the worktops in here. That's it. Oh, we've got the windows to do. 
My favorite! Not. <laughs> okay. Let's clean this up a little bit. Get rid of that. Ooh, nice little scrubby, scrubby, scrub, scrub, scrub. And we'll put the fridge back in just a little while. And we're scrubbing away with this broom, aren't we? So let's pop you back. Go out our broom. Finish this chair off. Yeah, there's a little bit of dirt over here. You can see it on the window, so. Okay. Give this a scrub. I mean, there's a little bit of dirt in there. But that wasn't that. Okay, let's move this. There it is. You can just see it just under the radiator. This room is now clean. Still got the basement to do. And we still got three windows to do. I guess this is the one from the basement and the one from the... What you might call it. Okay. Ooh. I mean, I want to flip a house like really badly. I want to buy a house, but we're having problems. So we need to make some money now. Come on, up you go. Which is, I think, what we're going to be doing over the next couple of episodes, just making some money, so we can actually buy a house. Okay, there we go. Just get rid of all of that. There we go. Coolies. Clean the window. Scrubbity scrub scrub. Scrub scrub. Simples, really. When you think about it. Just simples of windows. I always wanted a meerkat. Never got one. I was like 16 when they had the offer on, you know, you get car insurance with them, or you can pay your insurance with them, and you get a free meerkat. But fortunately, I was 16 with no car, no license, so I couldn't get insurance with them, couldn't get me free meerkat. By the time I was old enough to drive, they didn't do that offer anymore, which was unfortunate. I really wanted one. I did get a, I did get a, uh, what you would call it, a monkey. From the PG Tips, though, the, the monkey from there. I don't know what its name is. But I have got one of those, a chimp. From the PG Tips app advert. And no, I don't even mean my wife when I say monkey. Okay. Final. Oh, no. <sighs> I thought I couldn't move then. It was a table. It was a table. False alarm. False alarm. It was a table. Okay. So there's got to be something else we've got to clean in that, in that basement. It's not dirt with a broom because there's no dirt showing up on the map. So it must be like another socket hidden somewhere or you know, a light switch or something to the to that effect. Okay. Let's get this done. There we go. That's the vast majority of it done now. It's just going to be finding the bit in there that we currently haven't found. There we go. Kitchen. 98% of the dirt is cleaned. Okay. That one's cleaned. That's clean. All of this is clean. All of this is cleaned. This is cleaned. So, like, what isn't clean in here? Okay, let's get rid of all the rubbish first in here. There's a lot of it. 
Okay. That was a bit of a messy bed, my friend. Let's give this a scrub. I mean, seriously, who would sleep like that? Like, seriously, if I ever have one of those nights where you just get a bit sweaty, I have to change my bed in the next day. Can't bear it. I could never live like this. It's driving me crazy that my house is a little bit untidy as it is. Well, I shouldn't say untidy. It's just we're redecorating, so a lot of things are out of places. A lot of things are, like, here, there, and everywhere. Dining room is full of furniture from the living room. You know, can we clean that, please? You know, the, the wallpaper in the living room is hanging off the walls. Well, it's not hanging off the walls. It is off the walls. It's in bags. You know, and... It's just super untidy. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Got a couple of bags of wallpaper in the dining room that needs to go in the bin. You know, the recycling bin is full. If you don't know, in the UK we actually have... Well, in my county anyway, we have two bins. One for recyclable stuff, one for non-recyclable stuff. And our recycle bin's full, it goes out today actually. So those bags will just be put outside. No, sorry, it goes out tomorrow. Well, tonight, we put it out tonight for them to pick up tomorrow morning. Okay, clean the windows. We can do that. But yeah, so just essentially get rid of those, get them done, get them out of there. My wife actually might have put them out, actually I haven't gone and had a little look. Speaking of which, I do have to do the washing. My wife's just me in charge of the washing today. Which she told me off for yesterday. Yes, yeah, so I got told off for doing the washing yesterday. You see, we were cleaning up the utility room, or slash the office. Getting some old boxes out of there, that kind of stuff. And that's where our washer is. We decided that uh, we should probably put the washer on a self-clean. You know, I don't know if all washers have it, but, you know, just... Once every couple of months, throw the washer on a cycle with absolutely nothing in it. A bunch of bunch of, powder, bunch of powder in there, a bunch of fabric softener, make it all smell nice. Clean it up, that kind of stuff, you know. And I do it every couple of months. So, I we, we she bought this new bold uh, fabric, not fabric softener, uh, washing up powder, which we, we'd never used before. You know, we usually, we usually buy a big tub for about a tenner. You know, and this one was on offer, it was bold, it was brand name. You know, so we thought, hey, you know what, it's on offer. So you had one local source, we can't bother to go for our normal one, it's about £8. So, we, we spent a couple of extra quid to save the money on the petrol. And we bought that. Or at least my wife did, anyway. And I, I put in the usual amount, how much I normally put in. Well, the machine frothed up so much that it actually... Aha! Job done. Frothed up so much that it actually went up the, um, the pipe out the back. And started coming out all over the floor. We had foam everywhere. It wasn't water. The water stayed in the washer. But the foam was just foaming up everywhere. But our mums were like, Gosh, I put that much in. You're going to ruin your floor, your washer. What were you thinking? I only put half a cup in. We usually put half a cup in. But apparently you don't put half a cup in of this washer. Okay, I think we'll end off the episode by seeing if I can actually go to the house after the flood. And let's just see if this... If this works for us. I don't think it's going to. But we can always try. If it does I'm going to record my second episode. Straight after. Come on game load up. People ain't going to wait forever. And I don't have the time to edit this out. So come on. Unless it's actually frozen on the load screen. I'm sure it didn't take this long before. Oh no, Maria, Maria. And no, I just cannot move. I can't jump, I can't move. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to sell it. But I'm going to give it a little bit. Turn on head flashlight. Okay, can't move with that. I can do stuff. 
So yeah, I could do everything apart from actually physically move. And it's only in this house. It's really strange. But yeah, that's going to call it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel. I really do appreciate it. And also click subscribe if you want to see more from me, guys. I'm KC. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.